Would you like to know how you can save, let's say $500 every month? Let me tell you. Hi, friends. Welcome to my Ask Ella show. I am Ella Gerfinkel, Fairway Independent Mortgage, Team Ella. And I'm going to show you something that you may have not considered, may have not thought about, but it's worth considering as far as I'm concerned. And by the way, Ask Ella show is a place where you can ask your questions, any questions that are mortgage, finance, and real estate related that I should be able to answer for you. It's really a safe place where you can ask literally any questions and not have to feel embarrassed about not knowing something that is mortgage finance or real estate related. Let me show you how you too can start saving money by the bundle if you already own a home. If you're looking for a professional to handle your mortgage for your home purchase, whether it's your home to live in, an investment property, or a vacation home, look no further. I would love to take you by the hand and guide you through the process. The consultation costs nothing, here is the calendar link for you. And if you want to, here is my phone number. This is a place where you get blunt answers, no sugar coating, and I will take you literally by your hand from the beginning of the transaction to the very end. Let's say you own a home. You bought it years ago. I'm not talking about, you know, if you bought a house maybe a year ago, but let's say bought a house at least two years ago, maybe three years ago or more. You, my friends, should have a ton of equity in your house, even if you put down the minimum amount for the down payment, even if you only made the required payments, you didn't pay anything extra towards your principal. Again, you, my friends, have a ton of equity and you can put that equity to work for you. Let me show you an example. This is a client I'm working with right now. We have a first mortgage and a second mortgage really a home equity line, but it's still considered a second position mortgage. And the total payments are about $1,200 a month. Let's say that it does include taxes, insurance, everything, but you have a combination of two payments plus tax insurance at $1,200 a month. But then we have two credit cards with a monthly outgo of about $500 a month. So now hopefully you're starting to catch on. We have a ton of equity in the house. The same person also needs money for repairs and updates to their home. What we're gonna do is take the first and second mortgage plus the two credit cards, pay them off with the new mortgage and pull some money out for repairs. And it doesn't matter that the first mortgage could be at 3%, the second mortgage, our home equity line is at seven plus percent. Between these two, the credit cards and the money we're getting out for the repairs, we're talking about 20K here, by the way. My client's payment combined with cash on hand for the repairs of 20K and credit cards being paid off is going to be right here again at $1,200 a month. Guess what? We just saved you. 500 bucks. If you have more debt and a lot of equity, same goes for credit cards, car payments, any loans or obligations that you have, including your student loans. And actually there are special programs on the conventional side to include your student loans into a refinance if you own a home. So would you rather continue holding on to your 3% or 4% first mortgage and carry the burden of the debt on the monthly basis? or save yourself hundreds of dollars on the monthly, no matter what the interest rate is, you have to look at the bigger picture. And that's what I always tell my clients, look at the bigger picture. The bigger picture is really what's utmost important here, not preserving the interest rate that you have, because that debt will be a burden on you. The monthly payment that lightens the debt, you just gave yourself a huge raise. So if you're ready to take a raise or discuss how you can give yourself a raise, comment below, reach out to me. Of course, subscribe to my channel. And again, this is Ask Ella Show for a reason. This is a place, a safe place, where you can ask the questions that you may not want to ask anywhere else. The questions that maybe you didn't think were worth asking. Guess what? I want to hear from you. And I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>